something of a shock. <laughs> please, <laughs> please welcome the lovely Sarah Gilbert, everybody. Dear, oh dear. Hello, dear. Hello. Hello, sir. Listen, I'm being very odd about actors tonight. Please I help know. me out. I don't know. What the heck's going I think I was ex overexcited because of James Lipton being I, here. I know. And actually, it's put the spotlight on my acting, which is a little uncomfortable. You mm -hmm. kind of think like people go like, oh, there's going to be a serious actor. I don't know. Sarah Gilbert? No, <laughs> no, no. I, you're a serious actor. The, doing comedy is very difficult. J did you see the monologue tonight? Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> It can't really be done many times. Are you having a good time on that show? Yes, it's, they're it's very great. nice. Those people on that show, aren't they're they? They're super nice. It's such a great group, and I'm working with Johnny again, who's, you know, like family. We've known each other for so long. Johnny who? Oh. <laughs> uh, Johnny Galecki. Was he on? Uh... He was on Roseanne. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, he wow, played right. my boyfriend. He's changed a lot. He's gotten taller. Mind you, so have you. Yeah. <laughs> We are both very short. It's totally everybody who you're sees. You're not short. You're reasonably tall, aren't you? I'm not. I unfortunately, I'm very. You know, it's the first thing everybody says too when I when they recognize me. They'll say like, "Oh, Sarah Gilbert, you are so tiny. You're so short." Really? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's mean that yeah. they do that. You know, when they say it to me, they go, "Hey, uh, the Scottish Conan guy. You." <laughs> That's what they call me. Say, you look taller than you look on TV. I'm like, how big's your TV? What you <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Do people still recognize you from the Roseanne days? They do. Yeah, yeah they do. We worked together after that, didn't we? Were you, we or did. you, you played uh, uh, an assistant or a, 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 a yeah, receptionist yeah, in, in, the, the, in the big team. In tees. the hair salon, yes. Yeah, where that I was, was playing a gay hairdresser. <laughs> did you enjoy that? Wasn't much acting required. <laughs> So listen, talk to, the, talk to me about the talk to me about the about the Big Bang show. You're playing. You're you're one of the geeks on the show, then. I'm right? one of the geeks. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. A lot of acting for you. Are you a geeky person? <laughs> well, I like to think that I'm not a geek. Like I think I'm cool. But then my friends say, "No, you're a geek." Like, yeah. no, sorry. <laughs> if you're fixing a problem on my computer, you're a nerd. You can, you can fix problems? Not, I mean, not really. You know, it's like little things or whatever. I'm not like really those super smart people, but. If I even could do anything on it, they're like, I'm sorry, Sarah, I hate to tell you, you're not cool. <laughs> I think the geeks can be quite cool, though. I think, be, in fact, I think uh, geekiness is the new cool. <laughs> See? See? Okay, upwards, good. Upwards of five or six people agree with okay, me. Okay, good. good. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, does it, do you worry about being cool? You live in L.A. I suppose there's some pressure to be cool here, is there? Uh, yeah, I don't worry about it. I no. probably should, but I don't worry. Do you do all the early things? Do you do the, the yoga and the Pilates and stuff like that? I do a little yoga. Do you do, you do yoga? I've done some, yeah. Yeah, yeah I have done it. I, I learned to reach places I never knew I could get to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't start that. Now, do you do a lot of yoga then? I, you know, I should be doing more is how I feel, but yeah, I do. I love it. I've done it for years and years. Are you, do you do the hot yoga where they go into No. Hot, no, that's, see, that's crazy to me. And I've so noticed crazy. When you go to the classes, some, if you go to the certain classes, usually the ones in the early afternoon, just after lunch, I think you know where I'm headed with it. <laughs> they can get very far to you, the people <laughs> And yeah. then they, they think it's all nature, and they're all like, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> well, I think people don't usually say anything. They just do it, and then... Oh, no, I on. think denial, think denial is a bigger sin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I try, if it ever happens, you know, that anything, you know, untoward squeaks out of my leotard, I... Uh, <laughs> I <laughs> made myself laugh. But, um, then I would blame it on someone else. Don't right. you, do, you have, do you have a dog? Uh, yes. Well, do, don't you ever blame farts on the dog? Well, I've never farted, so I don't know what you're talking ah. about. I forgot you were going. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, what happens? You know, well, then your dog actually does all the fart and fart. You should, you know, you should take your dog to yoga, just in case. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about, um, are you uh, a vegetarian? You're a vegan, all that kind of thing? Yeah, oh, I'm a you are. I am. Oh, well, how, I am. Now, how were you going to handle Thanksgiving then? I'm interested here. I'm interested too. It's always sort of a dilemma. I was like a vegetarian for many years, and mm -hmm. now I've taken it to the next level of insanity, I think, and, and gone vegan for the most part. And it's just like I end up carrying like a sack of food to Thanksgiving, essentially. It's what, kind of like my family's... Kind of food? Like nuts, nuts and berries? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's good, but, you know, I think, like, my family's basically given up on me. Like, at some point, they were like, oh, we'll make you, like, a vegetarian option. And now that it's gone to, like, the next level of craziness, they're like, okay, you can bring your own food. Do you, do you, <laughs> feel, uh, do you feel better for it, do you think? You know, I've been vegetarian for, like, 20 years, so right. for me, I, there could be a whole life of feeling great and having tons of energy that I don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe, yeah. yeah I mean, but I the thing I, to do is tr uh, just try a little bit, you know, go ahead, get your toe in the water, have a corn dog or something. Right. Just a, dip in the water. Sure. Just a, dip just in a the hamburger. Water. Do you eat a lot of meat? Oh, to, I can't get enough. Yeah, really? <laughs> and you feel... I mean, you certainly seem like you have more energy than I do. So. I, I, I'm on a lot of cold medication tonight, next time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I th no, I I eat meat. I yeah. I, do, I do, I do, and I sometimes feel a bit guilty about it. Uh, it but usually only in the company of uh, vegetarians. Right. <laughs> no, no. Everybody's... Or 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 animals of the same <laughs> of the same species which I'm eating. For example, if I'm having a steak, it's very awkward if there's a cow in the room. For sure. But, nothing to see here, Daisy. Move along. <laughs> it's lovely to see you again, Sarah. You. Thank you for coming in. Sarah, go the co-host of The Talk. The new season kicks off Monday. She's the author of a new book, The Imperfect Environmentalist, which is in stores now. Please welcome the lovely Sarah Gilbert. Everybody, Sarah Gilbert. Nice. Your tie's loosened. I saw that, and so I'm loosening mine a little oh, bit, Oh, good. Too. I dressed for you. I thought this might be a little Scottish or something. A little bit Scottish. I wanted She's to match so... you. Did you know that Vin Diesel was a Sinclair? Did you know that I used to go to the tunnel where Vin Diesel Shut used to... Shut up! I'm serious. Did you ever go to Save the Robots, I dude? I think... I don't... I'm, I was probably too out of it to remember, and by out of it, you know what I mean. Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I, he probably let me in. Yeah, 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 I'd let you in. You're cute. Yeah. <laughs> that was the rules. I didn't make them. They just made the rules. That, They're like, you know, people would say, is. you know, let in cute people. People who are not cute, they can't get in. Exactly. So then I... I made a big mistake one night. What'd you do? I didn't let in Matt Dillon. Oh, really? Yeah, what? I've never said that to anyone before. <laughs> they were like, you didn't let in Matt Dillon? I was like, I didn't like his movie. Does... <laughs> Does Matt Dillon remember? No, Matt Dillon was drunk off his ass. He can't remember. <laughs> I mean, he'll hear about it now, obviously, but I... No, I... Uh, so tell me about your book, then. Okay, so the book is basically... I felt like people didn't have information about the environment in an easy way. I, myself, was am an imperfect environmentalist. Somebody sent me a book about doing laundry that was like 300 pages long. Would you read a book about doing laundry? Are you crazy? That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't, but then I know there's stuff in the laundry detergent that's not great for you. So I wanted well, to... Well, don't eat it. <laughs> So I wanted to give people a book where I would give them a page per topic. So if you want to know which cleaner to buy or what kind of couch to buy or what kind of nail polish to buy, it's in there. You know, I these feel are like... The, these are the three essentials for me every time. <laughs> That's what couch, was... cleaner, nail polish, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let me ask you, recycled paper, right? Recycled paper, Better be. Yeah. Because you know that's the first thing they're going to... Is they on recycled paper? <laughs> How do you, are you are you interested in the environment? Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am, time, of course I am. Last time I saw you, you were eating alligators. So no, I'm not no, too no. sure. I've eaten alligators, enjoying my, you know. 
puffin steaks. No, I am. Um, of course I'm interested in saving planet. I have children, you know, yeah. and I'd like them to be able to go to the beach and not have to swim through sludge. No, that is it. I mean, for me too, it's like as soon as you have kids, you're just like, oh, well, I've yeah. got to do something because there's stuff in their pajamas. Like there's crazy, you know, whatever. So you, Your kids have stuff in their pajamas? <laughs> yeah, just my kids though. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Is there stuff in children's pajamas? There that... really is. They put flame retardants on anything that's labeled pajamas. So they're breathing in all this toxic stuff. That Holy causes... crackers, I never even thought of that. I know, you don't think of it. That's but... right, no more pajamas for you, bastards. <laughs> They're going to sleep like daddy sleeps. <laughs> yeah. Do you wear pajamas? Uh, I wear... I don't know, it seems so. You've got to answer the tough environmental questions if you come here. I just, I just wear things like this out during the day that I could then sleep in later. That's what I do. Yeah. That's what I do. I, can, I think if you brush your teeth, that counts as changing your clothes, and you can go to bed. <laughs> yeah, you're good to go. Brush your teeth and brush take your, your shoes teeth. off. Look up toothbrushes and toothpaste, by the really? way. Really? Yeah. They put flame retardant in toothpaste? <laughs> No, they put all kind of crazy stuff in there and all the different plastics that are in your toothbrush. But ah. I'm telling you, it's so easy if you just know the few things to buy. It's really great. Do you think that it makes a difference? I do think it makes a difference. Like kids now are going through puberty five years earlier than they were 100 years ago. And there's 100,000 chemicals that we use in this country and only a few thousand are tested for safety. So. I mean, there's some serious... I don't like to bore people with that stuff too much because it's not so fun. I didn't fun, think it was but... boring. I was kind of fascinated oh, by okay, it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, uh, you, you mustn't say it's boring. Yeah. Because well, then people will never buy the book. Like, she said it was boring. That's <laughs> that. <laughs> well, I try to keep it entertaining and light and give you the easy stuff. And make it but... easy to understand. Exactly. How are things going over at the talk? You girls okay? They're really good. We're about to kick off season four on Monday, which we're excited about. Yeah, what's going on? Any big stunts? It's, uh, yeah, I can't believe it. We are, um, yeah, we're going to be revealing secrets. And... Whoa, wait, what are we talking about? Your secrets or somebody else's? We, each host is bringing a secret, and it's something that the other hosts don't know and we haven't said on the show yet. Do any of them involve sexual behavior? <laughs> well, a girl can dream. I'm hoping. You know, <laughs> but I, I feel like... I think I was just be... Yeah, I, yeah. You are coming next week, and I want to... You want me to reveal a secret? I want you I to I get none left. I'm doing it every night here. <laughs> That's what I thought, because then I was like, well, he's talking about the size of his testicles, so what is left when yeah. it comes to the show? Well, I mean, some of that's made up. I mean, my testicles are... They get along just fine. <laughs> it's, it's embellished, you know. It's an embellished thing. Right, Yeah. right. Well... <laughs> Anyway, we're out of time. So, uh, what do you fancy? Uh, awkward pause? I don't pause. get an awkward pause. Oh, well, yeah. you can get an awkward pause or a fake argument, or you can twerk with a horse or read your own book. I think awkward pause is good. I like Everyone it. goes for the awkward pause. Oh, okay. I could do something else. No, no, it's fine. Awkward pause is fine. Okay. It's awkward already, really. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to start. You started and I wasn't ready. I was a false start. Awkward pause, that's the rules, baby. <laughs> Once it starts, you can't stop. It's a little bit like fake argument. You know what I'm talking about! I don't know what you're talking yes, about! Yes, you do know what no, I'm talking no. about! See, the fake argument, I don't go for it. Say go, we're going to go right away. I got the young child in the house, so do you? Ah, uh, yeah. That'll, that'll how do it. How, how you doing with that? So, so okay. Yeah, it's kind, of, <laughs> kind of all right now. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty good. You know, two, he's a parrot. He repeats everything I say. And he repeats it, everything you say? Everything. Everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, hang on a second. <laughs> I admit yeah. it, I'm a dick. Yeah. All right. So...